Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your trade of the day. Randy, how's it going? Jeffrey. Good. This is Apple, not Tesla. Get out of here. All right, your trade of the day is brought to you by Day Trade the World. Make sure you scan that QR code below and start your prop journey today. Look, it's going to be Apple today. Apple right now moving around. Now, the point of this trade of the day is to be real simple, and that is, is that the NASDAQ today, look at this off the open, right where you get the volume, a nice spike up. We make this high, and we've never really seen it again, and now you're trying to test some of these lows, making new lows as we go here. Like every time it kind of dips downward, a little bit of resistance right there. There, and the same resistance goes back to where we were sort of middle of the day. So let's go over to Apple and have a quick little look at what we're talking about and the trade that we made. So, hey, Sean, what's wrong with you? Were you like, you know, in a coma or something in the morning? You didn't trade Apple at all? No, nah, man, we just waited very patiently until we got back in to some levels. Now that trade could have been made there. The same trade could have been made there, but we only made it right down here once we finally found a level. And this trade of the day is sort of for everybody that's in PDT or just looking for one good trade or maybe a couple more, who knows. I put on a lot of shares down here because I was just like, you know what? If I'm gonna trade Apple, I don't, I don't think we're gonna get back into this range today. So we gotta try to find some bottoms. And in the middle of the day, when volume's pretty weak, why not take advantage when you get a little bit of a drop down and then not much is really happening in the market other than the market. So we don't have too much Fed speak or anything happening throughout the day today. So I didn't really see any reason to be sort of afraid of this trade, but we were almost stopped out. I mean, this is 164.30. I actually gave it, that's that bottom wick. So I gave it a couple more pennies lower, maybe 20 cents, something like that range. So that's a 30 range. We were probably out if it broke 10 more cents. So again, that's our first in, our first First outs are that 15 to 20 cents. Risk to reward one to one. We put on a lot of shares, so we're gonna take some out. So there it starts popping up. There's the 50 period, now at 50. Remember where our long is, is like 31, 32, which says it at the bottom once we get off of this. But that's where we're long, and then as it starts to lift up, we just start getting some out. Now it's a very, very simple trade. This is scalping 101. What you could actually have done is get them all out there at 50, fine. Make your 15, 20 cents go one to one, that's good. But I always like to hold a little bit. So by the time we're in this range, we're out about half of our trade. Then we break back up, we take out the 200 period. Now we're at 70, you can see off of our long 32, 33. So we're already at about two to three to four to one when it pushes to the upside there at 80, where we're making that cash on a very, very simple play. So let's review. So again, you get the NASDAQ kind of barcoding a little bit, making bottom, so we can respect that. Apple, the largest name, it's either Apple or Microsoft now in the NASDAQ, but in the S&P for sure. So you come back in, as long as the market's holding out, we can find some levels for Apple. Apple only up, only down, sorry, 0.13. Look at the market, 0.99. That's why we prefer the long. So easy kind of you know, generating this trade. We get Apple because it's a long, plus we get it back at the support levels. So Apple, easy trade, easy to follow, and I hope you understand that one as it's your trade of the day.